welcome to Ecoholics. In the realm of economics, which is concerned with production, consumption, distribution, and many other activities in the economy for production, for productivity, for increasing wealth and income, there is also a branch of economics which deals with the organization of economic productivity in a welfaristic way. So, today in this video, we are going to talk about welfare economics, the basics of welfare economics and its meaning and importance. Firstly, there are a few set of economists who are uh, greatly involved, who have influenced the welfare approach. So, the welfare approach the welfare approach is called to be a normative approach. Normative. It comes under normative science. Normative science basically means what should be done, what ought to be done. Ought to be or what should be. It is different from the positive science which uh, talks about what is uh, done in reality, what is reality, uh, what is produced in reality, what is consumed in reality. So it is done in a different manner. This is a science or this is a branch of economics which is concerned about what should be a certain parameter. So, welfare approach also has a certain parameter and these parameters, these ideas were given by economists such as Wilfredo Pareto, J.R. Hicks, Skitovsky and many other Amartya Sen. AC Pigu and there have been a lot of um, such economists who were concerned about welfare approach. Now what is this welfare approach all about? So the welfare approach actually talks about the maximization of welfare but obviously Maximization of welfare, how can it be done? So, usually when we talk about production, consumption, distribution, all of these economic activities should be done under welfare approach, but in such a way that it doesn't happen at the expense of someone else. So, it means that everyone receives welfare and over the time their welfare also increases. So these are the major parameters of the welfare approach. Here we are not concerned or we are not talking about uh, the heightened amount of consumption, the economy uh, generating huge wealth and income, but we are more concerned about everyone getting the important welfare, benefits, facilities and it also talks about sustained development. This branch of economics is a very important branch and we learn it because economics is not just about growth, it is not just about imperfect competition or it is not just about earning uh, more and more GDP but it is also about social and economic dynamics establishing social cultural and other parameters for the economy to develop holistically. We know that the welfare approach is based on value judgments. Value judgments. Value judgments basically are this should this should be done. This is how the economy should run. This is how the economy should produce, should consume. So whenever we um, maintain a ideal parameter for an economy to run, it comes under value judgments. But we often know that different geographically, um, different people 
have different value judgments because geographically, culturally, socially, um, ideologically, we all are different. So value judgment for one person can be different than the value judgment of other person and which is why welfare economics is an ever emerging approach which tries to solve complex welfare related uh, problems and issues so that we can maximize the overall benefit of the economy and have holistic development. I will see you all in the next video with such interesting terms. Till then stay tuned to Ecoholics.